How does the sun manage to power our entire solar system? I'm pretty sure the answer has something to do with nuclear fusion, but I don't really know what that is. So an expert is going to explain it to me in a two minute elevator ride. Hi, Rat. All right, 45 levels. What is nuclear fusion and how does it relate to the sun? All right, let's just start with an atom. So you have the nucleus of two atoms, and if you can push them together, they will fuse and form a new element. But this is really difficult. The nuclei of atoms are positively charged, and positive charges repel. The pressure has to be strong enough to get these atoms to merge. Yeah. All right. The sun contains 99.8% of the mass of the entire solar system. And all of it is basically hydrogen. Okay. So you've got this huge mass bearing down onto the center. Why does it push into the middle? Gravity. Okay. This pressure overcomes that repulsion. They undergo a process called quantum tunneling, but that's another lift ride. <laughs> and the hydrogen fuses into a new element, helium. Oh my gosh, we're already halfway through. Okay, this is high pressure. Okay, so... Exactly. Is that like... Because the sun's burning, isn't it? It is not burning. <laughs> so it's fusing. <laughs> it is fusing. fusing. And is that like burning? No. Burning is the chemical combustion. Okay, but fusion causes heat and light. It does. We get energy out of this reaction. Right. So if you weigh the two hydrogens that went into it with the helium that came out, the helium is actually lighter. But less mass. Matter can't be created or destroyed. Exactly, but it can be converted. And this matter is converted into energy. And you know the equation for that. No. <laughs> you do. <laughs> do I? You do. E equals, equals mc squared. That's right. What does that mean? <laughs> so it means energy and mass are interchangeable and they can be converted from one to the other. And in the case of the sun, this mass is converted into energy. This is mostly in the form of light and heat. Ah, oh, so the nuclear fusion causes the sun to shine. That's right. So that's why like nuclear fusion reactors is a thing that exists. It doesn't exist. We haven't been able to harness fusion yet. Nuclear energy is fission, the splitting of an atom. Fusion could be better if we can manage to recreate the conditions inside the sun on Earth, it would be a much cleaner way to produce energy. That, and we have literally a limitless source of hydrogen. That seems really hard to make that much pressure though. That's the challenge. Oh, well, maybe someone will eventually figure it out. Thank you, Hannah. <laughs> You're back. <laughs> So nuclear fusion is the process within which two atoms get smushed together under immense pressure until their nuclei come together and form a new element. Now, in the case of the sun, this is happening with hydrogen to form helium. But if you were to weigh those two atoms of hydrogen, they actually weigh more than the helium that comes out at the end. Like, how is this possible? Well, E equals mc squared. The matter that is getting lost is actually converted into energy. And in the case of the sun, that energy is heat and light. So essentially the sun is one huge nuclear fusion reactor. And if we can figure out how to do the same thing here on earth, then we could produce tons of clean energy. Imagine it, just lots of little suns all over planet earth. It's pretty cool stuff. I'm glad I'm no longer in the dark with this one. Hey, thanks for watching. So in our chat, Hannah mentioned quantum tunneling, which we actually covered in another episode. You can see a video for that here. And if you want more Hannah, then check out our doco series, Catalyst. We'll put some details in the description below. Bye for now.